All units. We're getting alarms from the Ravencroft Institute. Can anyone respond? Over. Dispatch, we got our hands full with the blackout and Oscorp. Cannot respond. Repeat, cannot respond. I better get over there now. There's a riot at Ravencroft. We don't have the manpower to handle it. All we can do is close the bridge, seal it off. What about the people who work there? We sent in some task force guys to evacuate. They're having a bad time. Any chance you can lend a hand? On my way. This is a nightmare. How'd it get so bad so fast? It's like someone deliberately freed all the most dangerous inmates. This is worse than I ever imagined. Both the staff and the non-violent inmates are in a bad spot. I've got to get those people out. I have eyes on target. They say everyone's the hero of his own story. Eh, but come on, I'm the hero of this one. You're just some skinny kid. to evacuate anyone who's not involved in the riot. So fast. Glad to help. Now get as far away from here as you can. So scared. Head for the bridge. The police will get you out. Spider-Man, you rock. 
Don't thank me yet. You need to get to safety. Mencken, right? You work for Oscorp. I'll try not to hold that against you. What happened here? It was... Cassidy. We tried treating him with an experiment. You don't! I know what you and Fisk were up to. Using these people as guinea pigs. Okay, fine, fine. But the danger's real. Cassidy changed into something horrible. Deadly. And he wants to make more like him. How do I stop Cassidy? Uh, I'm not sure you can. You'd have to overwhelm the symbiote we injected him with. Stop it from functioning. Inflict too much damage for it to handle. Uh, perhaps with fire, uh, or intense vibrations. Uh, it's all theoretical. We plan further studies, but... What did this nutball cocktail of yours do to him? I don't fully understand it. <coughs> but like everything else, the goal was to cure the Osborns. In this case, by creating organic, intelligent life forms, uh, nanites, that rely on the body's survival for their own. Now listen to me. Any disease, any damage, they can recognize and heal, as well as protect and defend the host. <coughs> symbiotic relationship. More! Cassidy's a loony psycho killer. When did he turn into a social butterfly? He had an abusive father, absent mother. He was always jealous of other kids with loving, stable families. So he's trying to create one? Yes. Out of the most dangerous inmates at Ravencroft. He wants to build a family in his image. I'll get you outside, which is more than you deserve, but then I have to go after Cassidy. I agree. He's headed for the sub-basements, where the most damaged inmates are kept. Now, if he makes them into beings like him, no place will be safe. Oh.
I'm fine from here. My car's outside. Get to a hospital. Tell the police everything. Or after I'm done with Cassidy, I'll come looking for you. Duty security. Wonder what they had here. I get the feeling something seriously wrong was going on here. That water's got a live current. Stay on high ground. It's a different story when we know you're coming. Isn't it?
medical equipment, burn marks. I bet this is where they held Max Dillon. I get the feeling there's something behind that wreckage. Stay out of that water, or I'm gonna get one heck of a jolt. <laughs> the Venom Project. Huh, great. Why is it never the Puppy Project or the Chocolate Project? Stop Cassidy before he makes things even worse. Now, you're trapped in my web, little spider. <laughs> Don't fear the darkness. Let it in. Then you'll be like me. I think I'm my true self, Spider-Man. I'll show you how. I know what it's like to be part of something bigger. You'll find out soon. What on earth is that? Actually, it doesn't look like anything from Earth. I've never seen anything so far in my life. Growing mouths, Spider-Man. So many mouths to feed. I think I'll feed them you. That is the most disgusting thing. See. My friend is hungry. It wants a nice fat spider to munch on. You rejected my gift, but I have another one. As as far as you go, one of you is already too many. I'm not Cletus Cassidy. Not anymore. I'm my true self now. I'm Carnage! Hey, you'd be less nervous if you picture me naked. You know what? That's weird. Don't do that. Poor little spider. You're just not ready to see the truth, are you? I didn't web up your mouth because I don't want you to suffocate, but you're starting to talk me out of it. See, you think you're joking, but I know what you won't admit to yourself. When I killed those criminals, you were happy. You were grateful to me, weren't you? No, I... It's not too late to understand. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. You say you're searching for answers in death, but what were you trying to do when I stopped you? Make others like you? A family? So we can spread the message, the truth, that chaos and death are the only... Wrong. You're trying to create a family because you never had one. You weren't looking for death, Cletus. You wanted the life you never had. Now who's not seeing the truth? You said you killed to understand death. What are you trying to understand? The meaning, the truth, the secrets it reveals about all of us that we're afraid to see. I can tell you that. Death is a part of life. It happens. Sometimes for a reason, sometimes for no reason. You're wasting your time looking for some cosmic answer in death. Life is where you find meaning. And buddy, 
You've wasted yours. What makes you think I'm anything like you? You wanted to do what I did. End those criminals forever. That's true. I didn't want to admit it, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel that way. I knew it. But that's human. Anger, wanting revenge. It's not wrong to feel emotions like that. It's wrong to act on them. Here's the real difference between us, Spider-Man. I'm at peace with who I am. You shouldn't be. And you should? Then why aren't you? Sorry, Cletus. I just figured out talking to a psycho killer isn't gonna give me the answers I'm after. I know what will. Death.
What's the matter, Peter? You look like you lost your last friend. Hey, but I know for a fact you've still got at least one. It's Uncle Ben. I miss him so much. I just feel... lost without him. He raised me. I loved him. And he died because he was looking for me. I'm not sure how to live with that. Let me ask you something, Pilgrim. Your Uncle Ben... He was one of the best people I ever knew. Everyone loved him. He had an amazing life, right? So, why do you want to make it all about how it ended? What counts isn't how he died, Peter. What matters is really the way he lived. I, I want you to make his life mean something. I want you to be the man he raised you to be. The man that he was so proud of when he saw what you were growing into. He told you that? All the time. Your uncle knew what a tough place the world could be. He knew that it needs heroes. And hey, take it from me. You are one of those heroes. So what do you say? Are you going to go out there and prove it? I want you to do it for Uncle Ben. And for me. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Dan. I will. I miss Uncle Ben. I'll always miss him. But I don't have to replace him, because he already gave me everything I needed. Now it's up to me to honor his memory by using what he gave me, in a way that'll make him proud. Nuff said. Nuff said. Oh, you can rely on me, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> I consider it my honor to provide any help I can. What happened to young Osborne is tragic. But never fear. I'll continue to finance the task force myself. And, at the risk of seeming overconfident, I promise you, with the criminal organizations that plagued our city crushed, the crime rate will go down to a manageable level. Yeah, goodbye. There you are. Come in, my friend. Come in. I couldn't have done this without you. Chameleon. What happens now? Now... The real work begins.